In this lesson, I am going to solve question number 2 of exercise 2a and the book is D2, 7th edition. So the question is regarding the gradient of a line. And as we know, the concept of gradient is that when there is a horizontal line, no, we consider the gradient is 0 when the line is horizontal. Because gradient is change in y divided by change in x. So if you have this inclined line, then this is the value for y and this is the value for x. You simply need to divide y by x, you will get your gradient. Now how to find the gradient of a line? You have to take two points on a line, so that is your choice, wherever you want to take the points. So I have taken two points, one point I have taken over here and the second point is over here. Now the coordinates of this point as you can see is 0 and 4. This is 0 because we are on the y axis. So on y axis the values for x they are 0 while value for y is 4. This is the second point, okay, name this as A, this is point A, so this is the second point, name it as B, and what are the coordinates of this point, what is the value of X and Y at this point, so the X at this point is 3, what will be the value of Y, we are on the X axis, this is X axis, so when you are on the X axis, it is understood that Y will be 0. So here, the value for y is 0. It is 0 because we are on the x-axis. Now you got two points. Now name them. If this is x2, then this is y2. And if this is x1, this is y1. Now, use the value of y2 and y1, x2 and x1 in the equation to find the gradient, where m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, the value for y2 is 4 and the value for y1 is 0. Now y2 minus y1 is basically the change in y, whatever is the change in y, and that is 4, you can see from here as well, 4, 0 to 4 is 4. Similarly, you can find the change in x, that is x2 minus x1, 0, x2 is 0, while x1 is 3, minus 3, so your gradient will be 4 over minus 3. That is for part number D. So what is the y intercept? Y intercept is the point where this line is intersecting the y axis. So this line is intersecting the y axis over here and at this point the value for y is 4. So y intercept is represented by C is 4. So this is the answer for this part. As far as part number h is concerned, we have a line and we have to find its slope and y intercept. Slope will be obtained by using the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Change in y divided by the change in x. So write down the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But we need y1, y2, and x1, and x2. So you must take two points on this line. So take two points. You can take any of the points, but that must be on the line. So I am considering one point this one 
name it as A and the second point on that axis which is B. I have taken one point on the Y axis and another point on the X axis. So the point on the Y axis that is A has coordinates 0, 4. 0 because we are on the y axis, so the value of x will be 0, which is 0, while the value for y is 4. 4. The coordinates for point B, the value of x and y, is minus 5, the value of x, and the value of y will be 0, because we are on the x axis. On x axis, y is 0. Here you have got minus 5 and 0. Now, name your coordinates as x1, y1, and x2, y2. So, if this is x2, this is then y2. If this is x1, this is y1. Now, after naming them, insert them to find the variance. y2 is 4, y1 is 0. 4 minus 0. x2 minus x1. x2 is 0, x1 is minus 5. So x2 which is 0 minus x1 minus 5. So you will get 4 over 5 as variance for this line. One thing, minus outside the bracket and minus inside the bracket will be cancelled. That's why we have got plus 5 over here. Now what about the y-intercept? As I have told you, the y-intercept is basically the point where the line is intersecting the y-axis. This line is intersecting y-axis at this point and at this point, the value of y is 4. So, y-intercept, which is represented by c, is also 4. So, c is equal to 4. Now, the part number i, this one, the same approach will be used. If you have to find the gradient, take two points on the line. You can take any two points, but they should be on the line. I am going to consider one point on the x-axis and the other point on the y-axis. So suppose this is the point on the x-axis, so its coordinates are, so the value of x over here is 4, the value of y is 0, because we are on the x-axis, so it will be 4, 0. Similarly, this is the second point, the value of x on this axis, which is y axis, this axis is y axis, the value of x will be 0, while the value of y is minus x. Now apply the formula m, the gradient, is equal to, suppose this is, so name your point, this is x2, this is y2, this is x1, this is y1. So y2 minus y1, 0, minus, minus 6, it will become plus 6, of 0, minus, minus 6, y2, minus, y1, 0 minus, bracket, minus 6, over x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 0. Minus into minus will become plus. So plus 6 over 4 will give you 3 over 2 as the variance of this line. Now what about the y-intercept? Y-intercept is the point where this line is intersecting the y-axis. So this line is intersecting the y-axis at this point where the value for y is minus 6. So the y-intercept is minus 6. The value of c is minus 6. And the last part, which is part number j, 
we have to find the gradient as well as the y-intercept. So for gradient, you have to choose two points on this line. I am going to take this point and this point on the line. The coordinates of this point are 0, 4, y 0 because we are on the y axis and 4 the value of y at this point. And here the coordinates are 8 and 0. 8 is the value of x while 0 because we are on the x-axis, so the value of y on x-axis is 0. Name them, this is x2, this is y2, this is x1, this is y1. Now you can find the slope, m will be equal to y2 minus y1, 4 minus 0 will be 4 over x2 minus x1, 0 minus 8 will be minus 8, your so answer will be minus 1 by 2. Upon simplification, for 1 times 4, 4, 2 times 8. This is the case in for this line. So what about the y intercept? So this line is intersecting the y axis at this point where the value of y is 4. The y intercept represented by C is 4. This is the solution of question number 2, part G, H, I, M, J. Keep watching. Thank you so much.